Mitsubishi pre plumb cylinders. This is what we sell in the UK. We've got a wide range of sizes going from 150 litres up to 300. And we've also got options in there where we want small or large. And what we're actually relating to here is the size of this primary pipe work. So 22 mil for the smaller Ikadan units, 28 mil for the larger units. In line with that primary pipe work, we've got a flow sensor in there. So it gives an idea what the current flow rate is, but we also use it as a safety device. From there, that pipe was going down. First thing we come up to is the actual FTC. Take the covers off. On the FTC, there's all your outputs, and here are all your inputs, and then you've got dip switches down the middle. So it allows us to change around how this unit's working, depending on how we're doing the setup. Below there, we've got the primary pump. So that's taking the water to and from the Ikadan unit, and that's a variable speed pump, which we're controlling via the actual FTC itself. Above there, we've got the diverter valve. So the diverter valve is allowing us to change the direction of the water. So whether we're going to be doing heating or hot water, and hot water takes the priority. So let's carry on with that hot water side. We've got a plate heat exchanger for doing the hot water side. So we don't have a coil inside that cylinder, so that speeds up the heat up times and gives a bit more space inside that cylinder. But with that plate heat exchanger, we've got shunt pump, and we've also got a scale trap. And the scale trap's getting rid of any lime scale, so we're not going to get any scale forming on the plate heat exchanger or inside that cylinder. And the way we're doing that, inside that scale trap, we've got what looks like wire wool, it's not, it's brass, and that's pre-impregnated with calcium carbonate lime scale. So it all forms here and not elsewhere, so it's a sacrificial item. Going from there on the heating side, we've got zone one pump, and that's connected onto a low loss header. Now, that's how it's gonna to come to a standard, but you can see there on that low loss header, you've also got options for adding on an additional zone, and if you want to, a hybrid option if you wanted to as well. So you've got quite a bit of variability with having that low loss header, and it helps a lot on the heating side. So that's a little brief overview of the pre-plumbed cylinder.